Sweden an own goal off Louise Quinn. But the Swedes, well, a different kettle of fish away from home. And this is a huge night for Vera Pau's Republic of Ireland team as they try to qualify for their first ever major championship, the Illestet. Vass. Oh, that's a fantastic ball in, and Brosnan got it and read it beautifully. Blackstenius was the player, bearing down on goal. Pass in was almost perfection. Well done, Courtney Brosnan. Yeah, and again, you can see the ball comes inside, and it's a really clever little ball down the side, and, you know, but it's, it's well read by Courtney Brosnan. Sager. Now Sweden have got in around Finn, cross on its way, and the header by Hurtig is way over. Credit the Irish defending, I think it was Megan Connolly who managed to get in front of Lena Hurtig. Yeah, and you can see Niamh Fahey gets caught there, but Jamie Finn does really well, and if anything, that little touch that yeah. Jamie Finn just gets on that cross probably just takes the edge off it and just makes her, the timing of her run, just t t takes that millisecond off it. Caroline Sager. Oh, there's some space in there for Benison to get turned there. In around the back of Slani. Off the crossbar. What a brilliant bit of football. Ireland need a breather. How close Absolutely. was this? Yeah, and I mean, this is an incredible ball through, but this is the this is the those little third man runs that they make. And like I said earlier, they're looking to play into the space in behind and they get the runners in. And Aslani is brilliant. That's her bread and butter type of pass that she loves to get onto. And, you know, she'll be very Signal that that was going to be a Swedish yeah, free kick. Yeah. She, yeah. she lost her bearings, I think. It can happen. That's brilliantly held up by Katie McCabe. And there's the shot on target from Katie McCabe. This is the McCabe shot. Yeah, it's a really, really good hold up play. She just used her body. And so, you know, you can see the defender there thinks she's going to opt to go onto her left foot. And Katie just shifts it across onto her right. Bill Step. That was Jamie Finn. And McCabe just lifts, lifts that forward for O'Sullivan. Heather Payne is in front of her. That was almost a rugby tackle by Magda Eriksson and a yellow card for her. So yeah, they've had two so. books. That was a good break from Ireland. Ireland put potentially 3v3 in that situation. Magdalena Eriksson knew she knew exactly what she was doing there. She knew they were numbers down. Um, and it's probably a smart foul. Yeah. So an Irish set piece coming up. Two and a half minutes to the break. With two cards in the game, and we, we saw the Hannah Benison challenge early on on Denise O'Sullivan, which was a bit of an ugly tackle. So, what has this Irish team got in its locker from this set piece? Central, so they go wide to Megan Connolly, and Connolly sends the ball in. O'Sullivan will retrieve. Fahey on the ground. Here's McCabe. She wants to shoot McCabe, and it's deflected. There's the goal. Katie McCabe with the goal. And Lisa mentioned about all the stats, about all the goals she scored. Two shots on target is all she needs for a goal. <laughs> what an amazing scoreline this is in Gothenburg. The small Irish contingent are celebrating. But from the set piece, the ball played in. And Ireland lead against the number two side in the world. Brilliant, and it's clever, you know. Stick the ball out wide. Megan Connolly has a wicked delivery. And the ball just comes back to the one and only Katie McCabe, the one person you'd want to be receiving the ball right on the edge of the area, on her left foot with two yards of space. Have a, have a look at that. Takes a deflection. Yeah, I wonder where it was going originally, but you know what? I actually don't care where it's it was in. going originally. At the Republic of Ireland lead against Sweden. It's the second goal that Sweden have conceded in this qualification group. Finland scored the other one. 
like you look at the pitch it's not brilliant like no. it seems to be really cutting up you know some of the areas are quite muddy Rolf Fook oh nice football that's angled oh the Brosnan they've hit the crossbar again but Brosnan's touch was all important Rolf Fook shot Ireland on the edge again that's Ericsson with the cross and McCabe happy to see that sail over her head second time in the match Sweden have hit the crossbar and this is down to Brosnan's save yeah and again you just see that little ball down the sides of the defenders and it's a first time shot a great save from Courtney Brosnan just to touch it get those fingertips to it and get it onto the crossbar brilliant goalkeeping for sure it is and well we mentioned beforehand yeah, looks like Leanne Kiernan potentially getting ready to come on. Sweet hunting down this equaliser. Even though they didn't really say it, they would have wanted to go through this group with a 100% record. Brosnan in trouble. Oh, Blackstenius should have scored. Really should have scored. A striker of her quality. We know what she's done at Arsenal and for Sweden. Absolutely, the ball just swings in. It's a really, really good ball and... Again, a striker of that quality and calibre would be expected to score from there. If she just gets underneath it. Here. And we know it's been a backs to the wall rear guard effort, but Sweden haven't scored and we're in the 79th minute now and Ireland have a goal on the board thanks to Katie McCabe. The, the progress that has been made under this management team in a relatively short space of time is something else, but they have to defend, and Aslani, oh no! No, 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 no! Aslani, a very frustrated night for her, has changed dramatically. The Real Madrid striker gets her 43rd goal, and Sweden are level. And as we said, look, regardless of what happens, Ireland have done themselves really proud here but a gap in the middle of that Swedish defence which Aslani exploited yeah and like dare I say it but it's a, it's a good finish you know and it's, it's it's clever play but again I actually think this comes from Ireland's press They've, when Leanne goes and presses the ball she almost goes all the way on the goalkeeper then Denise comes in after her and then the rest of the team are sitting back and it's just left a massive acre of space and if you look inside where Denise O'Sullivan would have been that space now is 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 empty and that's what they they're just waiting for that moment when you give them the space they're looking for the knockdown as Aslani Rolfu allowed to turn and Rolfu shoots Rosner with a really good stop initially she seemed to be moving the other way and then was able to save it down low to her left yeah, and again, you just see Fridolina Rolfo, she just, she's able to make that space for herself. She puts it onto her left and, and has the shot, and oh, she's, such a, she's such a talented player, and to be able to bring a player like that off the bench, it makes such a difference, but again... We're in the last 15 seconds now. Neve Fahey down, dare not give away a free kick. Oh, she has given away the free kick. Neve Fahey lunged in on Aslani. This is in a really dangerous position. It'll be the last play of the game. The referee thought about it. Oh. No, like, it's a 50-50. Two players going to win the ball. Maybe it's just... Maybe she... Is it going to be a shot or will they try and work something? Angel Dahl, there's two Swedish players on the edge of the Irish wall. Brosnan on the line. Angel Dahl, it took a big deflection and it's gone out for... No, there's no corner. It's all over. It's finished 1-1 in Gothenburg what a fantastic result for the Republic of Ireland women's team you'll go back a few years ago they drew nil-nil in the Netherlands but here in Gothenburg this Irish team under Vera Pau took the lead and could easily have won the game sure they could have lost it as well but a draw is just reward for a heroic effort from every one of those players who got onto the field tonight wearing the green Sweden are going to the World Cup but it feels like a very significant night for the Republic of Ireland. They want to finish second in this group and get into a playoff spot, which is the best they could have hoped for when you have Sweden in the group. Katie McCabe is the Sky Player of the match again.
Congratulations, Katie, and well done. And well done to all your teammates as well. What a performance. Yeah, look, it was a, yeah, it was a tough game. We knew it was going to be a battle. Um, they're not second best in the world for no reason, but we went into the game fully concentrating ourselves on what we had to do. Um, and yeah, a point away against Sweden, um, not a bad result. Winning away in Finland was superb, but considering the quality of the opposition, is, is this an incredible result? Yeah, look, it's, it's another point in, uh, on, in our way to qualify for a World Cup. Um, we've got three more massive games, um, so we're another step ahead. Um, but we'll continue now and our focus will be on Georgia in June. Talk to us about the goal. I mean, you obviously decided with the free kick that you were going to vary it. Yourself and Megan had a word. Was that something that you had planned uh, on the training ground? Yeah, we had a look. Sometimes the angles of uh, some of our free kicks aren't really uh, the best, so we thought we'll put it out to Meg. Meg's got a f fantastic delivery, and uh, yeah, obviously I was screaming the head off Denise to, to set it back. And if you don't shoot, you don't score. So I'm delighted it just went, went in. Your uh, your shots to goals ratio is pretty good. I don't I don't know about that. Um, I'm just happy when I see them go in, and uh, and yeah, it's obviously very nice celebrating with the team. This puts you firmly in the in the driving seat for a, a playoff, doesn't it? Yeah, look, we've, we've still got three massive games to go. Um, we've got Finland, Slovakia away, um, and then obviously a big game against Georgia away as well. So step by step, um, we're fully focused on the job in hand, but hopefully we'll get there.